Hello everybody and welcome to Demon Show. I'm your host Demon and once again we're back out with Final Fantasy 16. <coughs> What's uh Is it the Moogle fun? What this does? I have no idea. Alright, that current level. Coffee treasure coffer data is retained. Okay, it doesn't look like anything changed. Probably just the uh just a stage. Let's get this fixed before someone. Let's go see our friend. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men, and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a Dominant, and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... ...see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us Dominants. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. Uh -oh. I killed Joshua. <clears throat> no. That's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. Oh, there's some static happening in my ear right now. It's the truth. I forgot to do something before I did this. I changed into him again. Not long ago. The can second I... icon of fire. Can I pause? Okay, I can pause. Okay, I'll be right back. There's something I forgot to do. Okay, I'm hoping this works. <laughs> oh, come on, talk. Okay, there we go. Clive. When I think back to that night... Good man... He, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sources. We have found you. What did he mean? That was a very good question. Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did... 
Then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. All right, so I'm gonna pause for a moment. Okay, let's go. Let's see if they shut the door. Nope, so far nothing. Let's How is get that this is before someone does themselves a mischief. We're looking at half a dozen, maybe more. Their bunks are made out. There you go. Side quest. You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Uh... All right, I'll go. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Yes, and I'll do what I can. There's other side quests over here. Yeah, gonna be one of those long games. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Moogle. <laughs> or hey, I'm one. So drink it, Ed Koopo. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Yeah, he knows stuff. But what does he know? What he doesn't know is that the Nectar, whatever. you say. Clive. You understood Muggleton Kupu. So it would seem. Finally, Kupu. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them seem to understand a word I say. Oh my gosh. That sounds... painful. But now you're here. My pom-pom safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Koopu. That's your little secret, Koopu. Alright, let's get this mission. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I'll be happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. About the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Prioritize this quest. Considering it's here. I just don't uh, have enough teams to follow every lead. No. No, no, I 
was like, is he right there? And it's like, no, 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 he's, he's a little bit over more, I think. Could really do with a proper place to train. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. <coughs> you should... Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Confirm. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Come, you must eat if you're to recover. Alright, that was easy. Yeah, this is like one of those easier requests. Unless for some reason it suddenly becomes harder. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Get it, Sammy. He thought you might be hungry. A hearty meal. A Kenneth meal. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Aye, I'll hear you. Okay. One more. We just have one more, and then we'll go off and do the request for the other guy. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. Nope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Nah, we can have it. A hearty meal. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I will. I think that's everyone. I bet like it. Oh, quick complete. Completing the main objective, some quests you can pick up and quick travel to. Yeah, no. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. That actually helps out. Ah, you're back. But I still All have done? to push the button Wonderful. to uh, talk. Here, your reward, as promised. I bet it's a hearty meal. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Little community. Hopefully it stays, uh... Safe. Sometimes, uh, the game won't let it. Okay, uh, world map. Let's travel here for the other side quests. Do I have Trago? Okay, I do have the doggo. Someone's in trouble. Ah. 
Do this. Do this. That's enough. Get him. You know what to do, boy. Yeah. Sick of toggle. It's over. red line because it might make me leave enemy slave oh yeah money and other stuff are you hurt it would have been worse if you hadn't come along wait I, i've seen you around the hideaway you're new aren't you i'm clive and i'm martel but what are you doing here looking for you this is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Seems like coffee. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. No problemo. Now I guess we gotta go find some soil. Soil then? There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Like nothing. Oh, come on. Just look at it. There's someone tending to the, the vine. That should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. And fast travel. Yes, I am happy that they implemented that. There you are. And all safe and sound. Bye. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Oh uh, boy. Yes. Got a soil head here. Here. Find your soil. Let's see if that's uh, will make him happy, but probably not. Glorious. Oh, well, never mind that. When Martel came home empty handed. I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. What do you got, man? Money or items? I wish I could offer you some fruit, too. But you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still. We'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Quest complete. Moving heaven and earth. Got some experience and got some bobblies. And uh, bloody hide. Alright, I think that was it for at least the side quests here. I wouldn't doubt that there's side quests. Around 
here, a local map. Okay, let's see. Where's the... Where's the town? Ah. There's the town. Okay. Well, let's continue onwards then. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Uh, good little blade. My weapons are still way better. Unfortunately, those are better too. I have those two, two, four, four. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. Yeah, hopefully. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, you oh, too. Crap, head goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Know why she didn't say anything about the dog? She knows the dog. Okay, so we're going to the three reeds. I think I see more than uh, three reeds. Probably not. Usually reeds are growing near the waters. Probably plenty of weeds. This area. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Bran did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. Well, now that is know. where you lost your brother. And everything went to hell. Hell in a handbasket. in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? 
Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Noble mistress. Look at the fuse on this. What are you? Sixing experience, we get him. Damn, I should be more sick of total. Keep your distance, boy. Get him, it's over. Better experience. All right, let's see what's in this house. Got uh, three spools of steel wheat, steel wheat. Death. Sick of toggle. Yeah, that was easy. I feel like I could smack these guys and into a fight with them, but they don't seem dangerous, so I'm not going to. I was like, this seems like a, a trap. Good experience there. Deep. Three chunks, and I saw that there was also a side quest. Let's go check out the side quest. Hopefully, it's something good. Hopefully, they give me money. Although, I haven't really found anything to really spend my money on, except for, clothes, except for armor. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Uh oh. Oi! Stop and give me. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was funny, late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. As well. Fine. That's the spirit. Going there anyways. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. You don't want to. If it's actually like a time quest.
man. Everything just looks so nice. Here we are. Martha's rest. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. Sealed crate. How heavy is this crate? This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Or has that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Gizal greens. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Well, that's Don't one way wrong. to capture a, a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. <laughs> Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Quest complete. Finish him. I want to get my own chocobo. Where's my white chocobo? Pretty sure it was a white chocobo that my character had. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? He's not one of ours. Let's make this quick. Don't let them get away. Come on, get down. Get him, boy. Get down. Over here. I was like, where is she? Where is the lass? Can't go in there, apparently. What the? Make myself go around? I'm absolutely fine with that. Sick of talk all the time with a little bit of exploring. Since it means more experience that I can go on. Ooh, very close. I might be able to level up soon. I can take him. No holding back. Oh no, here it is, okay. I was like, oh, what do you mean I can't get to that little island? That's that's where the item was. No, no, that, that wasn't where the item was. Okay, 
Well, sadly I didn't level up, so I might as well actually go over here and not uh, further down the way. Get myself sidetracked. I want to go exploring because everything looks so nice. Gameplay is pretty good too. Like when when the gameplay is like this style, like I do like the turn combat of the Final Fantasy franchise. But like the, once they switch over to this, it's like light real life time, whatever. It does make it a lot better. So then you don't have to like. I want to go fight those. Although I do wish she ran like sooner. Okay. So. Please. You know what to do, boy. guys are friendlies or if you guys are a bandits footpad throw your weapons down if you want to keep your distance get him boy you know what to do boy magic footpad Gargling of the blood. Get ten bloody hides for that. All right. Okay. It doesn't look like there's really anything else here. So now let's go. Should I go fight the clay guys? I'll fight the clay guys. Like half half the time the game's like cutscene and then another cutscene and then like. 10 minutes of running out and having fun, and then more cutscenes. So, you know what? I kind of want to do some fighting and stuff, not just do cutscenes. Because no matter how good they are, you gotta at least have some gameplay. Like, I looked at the thing online, it's like 35 and a half minutes, or not minutes, hours. 35 and a half hours to uh, complete the game, and I'm just sitting there like, Okay, but like, how much of that is just, you know, cutscenes? 10% of the gameplay is just cutscenes, or 10 hours of the game, just cutscenes. Should look that up, see like how long are the cutscenes. That's one of our branded. Do we take him in? Alright, let's go. We fought some stuff, did some exploring, but now we will go to... Was it Mother's Roost or something? Mother's Nest. Get some cutscenes. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Martha's Rest. Oh, it's Martha's. Let's go and find out, shall we? When he goes to East Pool, leave him in the park. Here, has this thing always been glowing? That's as if it glows when I'm near it. Hmm, mysteries. Ah, oh, he's using a crystal, okay. I was like, why is that box glowing? Is that something I can get? No, it's just a kid using ice magic to icen it up. Knock, knock. Dressing green, never lay down. Okay, you guys can read that. Following channel is very paid, swift boot and yutters, mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, f foisting, and fingering. Er? 
this a brothel? It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a Stratton lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Boy, oh, I think it's something we could do. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Prioritize. Not like there's any other quest that we have at the moment. Okay. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Down there. He goes through I mean, there's a ladder there. The then that must be the ladder. Why don't you get down here? I don't care what your orders are, bro. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. <laughs> there he is. No one else could like hear him or see him. There's a guy like right up on the bridge. You think that he'd be able to see it? Lock, lock, lock. Smash, smash, smash. Super claw attack. Get him, boy. Sick of Togo. Good job, Togo. All right, got him. Enemy slain. Now for cutscenes. About two hours worth. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turned around and... I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, 
She asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, good, good. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. She'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. I mean, you can just put like a plank down so we can walk across. The bridge will bridge us down. If you're headed for Eastpool, you'll have to wait. We were supposed to be in Eastpool yesterday. We're supposed to be in his pool yesterday. So whiny. Oh, fast travel. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. I mean, you could just have a plank go across and we can walk We'd over be it. But I guess, you know, Phoenix Gate's not going anywhere. Ah, I gotta level up some skills. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Uh oh. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. Oof. All right? All right. I have some horrific things to hear. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far, a 
beggar wouldn't spit on him. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Alright, prioritize the quest. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. The aqueduct. Okay, and I think I'll end the episode here. After I check my uh not abilities. Not my gear, my abil oh yeah, my abilities. No, that was attributes that I was looking at earlier. Okay, let's see what we got. I really do like the claw. I really like that. Oh, I don't have enough to learn it. Oh, you know what? I think I'm saving... Oh, and maybe I was saving money for one of these guys. What else do we have here? Uh, oh, okay. All right, that. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll save up my uh, my points and... Oh, uh, Sully hunts down nearby enemies and upon ensnaring them, inflict multiple hits. I think I'll learn that one first. It's a little bit cheaper than this one. Oh, maybe... Maybe no, I'll, I'll do this one because this seems to do more damage... Or, same amount of damage as stun. This one's mostly deal a little damage and stun. All right. So I thank you all for watching, and I will see you later. I hope you're all having a good day, and if you're not having a good day, I hope that things turn around. You do, in fact, have a good day. So until next time, take care. See you later. Bye-bye.